friends and welcome to episode 8 of Vlogmas. No, it's episode 9. Episode 9! Today we're off on a day trip to a Japanese marketplace called Mitsuwa. It's in Edgewater, New Jersey, right across from Manhattan actually, and this is for George's birthday. Right now, we're getting ready to leave. Our friends Ant and Tiff are coming with us, which will be super fun, so we're just waiting for them to get here. Have to get gas, coffee, you know, all the uh, road trip prep things and finish getting ready because I don't have my jewelry on <laughs> and all that fun stuff. We're really excited to go to Mitsua. Uh, it was George's idea and then we did some research on it and I got super excited. It's essentially just a huge Asian grocery store mall situation where there's a grocery store where you can get food for your life. There's food courts and restaurants. There's retail shops like all in one space and then like outside in the plaza there are other real retail shops and I'm most excited about a book and stationery store. Really really excited friends so we have that to look forward to and there's also a Daiso store which is like a Japanese dollar store like five below which will be really fun. I've never been to one. So yeah, off we go! Has all his camera gear. It's all too much camera gear. <laughs> it's, all, it's like the most unorganized mess a man can have. Creativity, guys. Don't do it. In Don't the flesh. <laughs> look, guys, there's the bookstore. We're gonna go there later, though. Hey, look at these guys. They came out. going out of the market and we're going to the retail shops. Look, it's the first place. Bookstore. Somebody explain this? Any New Jersey people out there? Bergen County? That's odd. Walking fast. We found the stationary section, guys. Look at these cute little notebooks. Cute. I found the washi tape, guys. <laughs> Look at all the washi tape. And there's Christmas ones.
guys, they have Hoganichi. Oh my god. They also have Midori products, which I have a small Midori book. I'm not sure if it's here and I haven't even used it yet, but they have <laughs> so many options and it's fun just to look at all the different planner layouts. Look how fun this is. This actually sounds awesome. This. Manga poses. It's like you have poses. which I think is just a mix, a variety store, we'll find out. Well, I'm asking Tiff first. I got her mouth cheese, tonggoksu, and a pizza bun. And the meal comes with miso soup and rice. Yum. And pasta salad and a regular salad with sesame dressing. Keep grabbing. He's still eating. Mm -hmm. We'll check in with him later. I'm good now. Oh, he's ready. I got tonggoksu curry. We have two, well, one, I got one pizza bun, but one's George's, and then an extra of rice, because you always need that rice. Always Gotta have that rice. rice. And my spicy tuna poke is amazing. Amazing. Look, guys, they have Pokemon hair rollers. So cute. And face masks. We're getting some. 
I can carry it for now. We can take shifts. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Look, there's a Kirby, a Pikachu, Baby Yoda, Totoro. Oh my god. One piece seltzer water. I like that around it. It makes sense, that's honey. Uh, <laughs> what does yogurt flavored seltzer water taste like? <laughs> honey lemonade, and this is mango. It's that one. Oh, yeah, like a. Yeah. Potato cookie bread. Goodbye, Skyline. Goodbye, Mitsua. <laughs> goodbye, cheese cream. <laughs> I didn't say bye to the bathroom. We became good friends. <laughs> goodbye, Mitsua. Off to home now. <laughs> Welcome to the haul portion of this video, friends. Obviously, I have to show you what I picked up. I tried to get a few things there and had to really restrain myself and actually was pretty good at that. So let's dive in. I'm gonna go in order of where we went first in terms of shopping because that's just how my brain is working right now. The first place we went to was the bookstore which is called Inokuniya, a Japanese bookstore which I believe is in Japan and then they have locations elsewhere like New York and probably the big places in the US and probably even in other countries. I don't know, I had never heard of it before until we went on this trip and I was very excited because it has books, it has stationery. The front of the store was all of the like Japanese stationery and gift items and then the back of the store, it was where the books were. So there was Japanese books, English books, a lot of manga, really cool drawing books and just your typical like American English like novels and nonfiction that you would find at any regular bookstore. And there's also a little kid section and it was just really fun to walk through and see everything Japanese. And of course the stationery section was where I went to first and I ended up finding pens first because that was one of the things I wanted to get. I will preface by saying the prices were kind of high. Like I looked these up on like online and like they're cheaper on jet pens. I mean, not by much, but I think that's also why I didn't buy a lot of stuff. And I also know all these items are imported from Japan. So of course there's gonna be, you know, an increase in price for that. But yeah, I, I mean, it's nice to go in and be able to have everything laid out and there's so many pens to try. And, and if you don't know what you're looking for, it can definitely be overwhelming. So I ended up getting the Uniball 1 pen in this mint, mint green color and it was $7.95 at the bookstore and on jet pens it's $6.50 although the little band thing here it's white I have it's white mine is white but the one that I found on jet pens is silver so I don't know if that's a different one I mean it can't be different they also have like different colors you can get in this style but it's a 0.38 pen size and I tried it out and it was smooth, it was everything that I wanted, and it just felt like an $8 pen, and I was like, I'm here for an $8 pen. The other pen I got is the Zebra B Len pen, it's B-L-E-N, also in a .38 size, and it's in this like pastel blue color. And this was only $2.95, and when I tested it out, it was definitely not as great quality as this pen, but it's a $3 pen, so I wanted to get two pens just, you know, to get a variety to try things out. In terms of notebooks, I got two from the same brand, which is Section. Again, these are both made in Japan. This one is like a little memo pad and the paper is in a grid style. I think this is just a good thing to have on my desk when I need to write something down or I'm taking notes or I use it a lot when I do my timestamps for my videos. I like to write it all out and I feel like this is enough space for me to kind of do all of that stuff. So we're excited to have this. And then I got this one, 
which is just this like nice little blue with this ornate little, you know, cover. And it's also grid style. And I think this is an A4. No, this is smaller than an A4. I don't know what size this is, but here it is. And it's grid paper. I just love grid paper when I'm doing anything but journaling and like writing. So for planning and brain dumping and mind mapping and all the things, I just love grid paper. The drawing book section was great. I was, I could have spent a long time in there looking through all the books and I ended up just getting this one, which is called Drawing People. 100 Prompts, Projects, and Playful Exercises by Victoria Semenova. I'm really excited to try this out in the new year because I really want to improve drawing people. I really love the art style and I'm excited to just try out the exercises. And I really like the idea of getting like a new drawing how-to book every Christmas. That's what I did last year when I was doubling down on my drawing journey and it just gets me excited for the new year and something to try out and look forward to. So we're excited for this. And there were two other items that I had picked out but I did not buy it because George got it for me for Christmas. So there was another manga drawing book that I picked out which I'm really excited to try once I unwrap it. And the other one is a Hobonichi Weeks. I am planning to do a more in-depth planning lineup whatever video where I just talk about planners the whole time and we'll share more about what I'm using in 2024 but the Hobonichi Weeks is going to be one of them. Spoiler alert. And then at the front of the store they were giving out some bookmarks so I got a Spy Family one because why not? All right after that we went to Little Japan and I don't think I didn't buy anything in there but it was really interesting to walk around and see everything and because it was a Sunday in Bergen County, we could not buy clothing. Anybody live in Bergen County? Explain. And then after that, we went to Daiso, which is a $1.99 Japanese store, I guess. So basically the premise is you go in there and if nothing is marked with a price, it's automatically $1.99. So that was interesting. And I got a few things. The only item that was not $1.99 is this umbrella. <laughs> which was $4.50. I've been wanting like a, a clear, cute, whimsical umbrella and this one kind of fits the bill and it was only $4.50. Other random items, I got a little mini stapler in this pastel blue color. I got a headband for like putting my hair up in the bathroom when I'm doing my face and foreshadowing because this is not the only headband that I bought and a little toiletry travel size bag because why not? It's practical. All right, and that leaves us with the actual like Mitsuwa market itself, which inside they have the supermarket and then like retail shops and food court and all that stuff. So I got two things from like the beauty counter area up in the front, one being the Pokemon mask. I got one in Eevee because Eevee is one of my favorite Pokemons. Squirtle is actually my favorite, favorite Pokemon, just an FYI. I ended up getting this one because the mask, the mask itself, the pattern's super cute. So yay for that. A two pack of this was I think $5.99. I mean, kind of outrageous, but again, it's imported from Japan. And we got another headband for the bathroom, but this one's Hello Kitty and it's white and red. It's like the classic Hello Kitty. I feel like you can't go to a Japanese anything and not walk out with some Hello Kitty. Am I right? And that leaves us with the market. So the market itself, I feel like I did not vlog as much as I could have, but by that point it was the end of the day. We were super overstimulated and tired and we were just trying to walk through and finish out our trip. So I did not buy a lot of things and we were also not really in the market for grocery shopping since we had a two hour trip back anyway. But we... We got these, we got these one piece seltzer waters by Ocean Bomb. So this one's Nami and it's in the, it's mango flavored. This was my selection and George's selection is Zorro and it's green with honey lemon flavor. Now the Luffy one, which is the red can, it was yogurt flavored. Can somebody explain to me what yogurt flavored tastes like? Cause I, now that I'm thinking about it, it probably would be interesting and we should have got one just to have like a full set, but 
they were like two dollars and some change a can so again have to keep it low key and then i also got some like japanese pringles like it was in a pringle is pringle-esque container that had mario on it and i just put that in george's stocking so i won't show that to you guys but that completes the haul oh and i forgot this this was this was from daiso this was a a sketchbook in this a4 size so it's bigger it's a difference it's just different i just i like having random things when i when the inspiration strikes to try out and the paper was just really enticing it's just nice smooth paper so we're excited for that as well and that's everything friends i hope you enjoyed this video it was really fun for me to film we had a blast on our little trip and I do, would, I would like to go back someday. It would definitely, there's definitely more to see up in that Northern Jersey area. And then Manhattan was across the river, which was really cool. Although it was super cloudy and not the best day to look at the New York skyline, but it was New York. Welcome to New York. All right, friends, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.